Hello everybody and today I'm going to present the solution to problem G, ABBC or BACB, a problem that was given at the code forces round 898 division 4 around that just took place yesterday on code forces. So for this problem we are given a string and this string is actually formed only of letters A and B and we can perform two types of operations we either convert an AB to BC or a BA to CB. As you can notice, a very important aspect is that this operation brings us a new letter and this means that the number of letters we can use uh, in our operations will always decrease by one. Also, another important thing is that it's always the A that ends up being uh, a C. So the number of Bs never decreases throughout the problem. So now basically this leads us to thinking of the fact that the solution has something to do with how A's and B's are placed. And uh, also we can, given that the number of A's decreases at each step, we also need to be careful about uh, counting how many steps we can actually do. In a best case solution, in a best case scenario, if we have some A's, some B's, and so on. In the best case scenario, we can think at grouping each A, each group of A with just one B. As basically, if we process this group, it will become uh, over a few steps something like this. So you will never, actually it's going to be only full of C. So it's going to be something like a B and many C's. And uh, basically the main point of this is that um, now we can associate each A to each group of A's to one B. And this actually leads us very close to the solution as we can just say that if we can we just group each, groups, each group of A to one B. And then we can do it greedily. However, this even though this works most of the time, there is a case when we can't uh, get it done that easily. And this case is actually when we have something like this. So we have some A's, exactly one B, again a few more A's, exactly one B, and let's say a few more A's at the end. We can go all like this as well as we end in something like this. So. The main issue is that uh, in, an in a string like this, we can't group every single group of A to 1B, but we can group at least uh, X minus 1 groups of A, where X is the number of groups of A. And basically this leads us to having this greedy idea where we can just uh, discard the group with the smallest number of A's. And discarding the smallest number, uh, the group with the smallest number of A's is just the same as if you split the string at that position and you end up having two strings that are uh, following the observation I gave earlier. And for all, both of these we can just uh, say that the answer is the number of A's. And this leads us to the solution of the problem where we can just... Uh, uh, compute how many A's we have in the string as well as the length of the smallest group of A's and basically if there are no two uh, B's in the row or if the number of B's is at least equal as the number of A's we can uh, use every A otherwise we need to subtract the number of A's from the smallest group or as I saw some other approaches in the contest after the contest when I talk to my friends, we can just uh, find the uh, smallest group of A's and for example if we have two B's then we can just say that the smallest group of A's is zero as if there is no A between these two B's and this is also good enough and even though my solution in the contest wasn't particularly the least complicated, it worked as I followed the steps described in the solution earlier. But again, I could have saved a few minutes by just keeping it more simple.
So for this pro for this problem, I have to say that my solution isn't exactly the uh, easiest to follow, but I also explain the easiest solution. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And you can also check out the links in the description for more ways to contact me or even collaborate with me. Until next time, good luck with practicing, stay safe and see you next time.